In the lab today, we're working with the Dell PowerEdge Vertex. Dell launched the Vertex at Enterprise Forum earlier this year, and it was one of the most popular items at the show, judging by the response to our tweets. And there's good reason for it. While the Vertex is designed to be used in a branch office, remote office, because of its small tower form factor and its high availability features, the use cases for this system are pretty wide and robust. The system's highlighted by the four blades that are either M520 or M620s, and they can be configured in total with 64 cores and up to three terabytes of RAM. That makes a very robust system for VMware cluster, Windows cluster, or whatever your business needs are. The shared storage and the blades are managed through Dell CMC. They've got a chassis management display on the device itself that shows you health information and other system-wide data points. And then via a web GUI, you can manage everything else from storage allocation and blade management. The way we've got this system configured is 25 small form factor drives. We've got an SSD pool dedicated to each of the top blades and then a hard drive pool in RAID 50 that's shared between the bottom two blades. It provides us with a number of testing alternatives and high availability redundant storage solutions. If you don't want 25 of the small form factor bays, Dell also offers the Vertex with 12 three and a half inch drive bays. As we slide around to the side of the Dell Vertex chassis, you can more easily see the wheel caster kit that we've installed. It makes it much easier to move the Vertex around. It can also be oriented in the rack for a standard deployment there where it takes up 5U. But as we peel away the side panel on the top, what we're more interested in are the PCIe expansion slots. There are five half-height, half-length slots here, and there are three more in the top that are full-height, full-length. It's really great because while it comes with gigabit Ethernet standard, these bays are great for adding additional interconnects, be it 10 gig, fiber channel, and Finiban. And then the top, it's really easy to take something like the IO Drive 2 Duo and drop it in for shared storage. Now what's really neat too about the CMC is that you can assign any of those eight bays directly to any one of the nodes or blades inside to give you a lot of flexibility about how these bays are assigned and what you can do with them. As we swing around the back of the Dell Vertex enclosure, there are a lot of neat things to highlight here. One thing that we talk about a lot with servers and different chassis is air cooling. And while we normally mention that it's there and it's, it's HA and, and fail redundant, we really don't get into it too much because it's not normally that exciting. In this case, the Vertex uses squirrel cage fans for the blowers, which are much more efficient than the traditional muffin fans, and they're much quieter. What this means to an organization is that putting this Vertex in a closet or supply room is going to be a possibility because it's just not as loud as traditional servers tend to be. We've got two management ports here and access to get into the CMC. Down lower, we've got, of course, the PCIe slots and eight gigabit Ethernet ports that are shared amongst the four blades in front. There's also four power supplies, which can be configured in different modes depending on the power access you have in the building and how you want them to operate. 